so uh so an internet friend of mine named Sierra who goes on YouTube as uh, internalized misogyny uh, did this video recently where she talked about uh, a video no she talks about a movie that traumatized her as an adult which uh, actually is a spin on the original tag that was coming on was uh, you talking about a movie that traumatized you as a child and uh, what she decided to do was to tag me in it and try to challenge me to talk about a movie that traumatized me as an adult rather than as a child because as a child I actually didn't really watch very many scary movies anyway so I wouldn't actually be able to uh, do the challenge anyway because I don't really like scary movies and I really like stray away from them all the time but as an adult I I've watched a couple and there is one there's one movie that got the actual fuck out of me as an adult uh, this is actually a couple years ago back when I was in college um, my roommate had an Xbox 360 and on and he had Netflix and we would watch movies all the time and uh, the the movie that I watched that, that traumatized that I remember to this day is actually the human centipede 2 that was that was some shit so let me let me tell you the story of how I even got to watching the human centipede 2 and then I'll explain why I just say fuck that movie okay so so what happened at first was um I had seen trailers for the human centipede a couple of years ago right like when I was like 16 or something uh, and I always wondered if the movie was that bad and I was like the movie it really can't be that terrible right so I actually watched The Human Centipede by myself first, and I came to the conclusion that it was a terrible movie. Not because it was gory and gruesome, but because it just it flowed terribly. And the story made next to no sense. I, I, I didn't like it. I didn't like The Human Centipede number one, but not not for the goriness or anything like that. It's just just a badly done movie. So uh, my roommate, no, I had a friend who lived next door named uh, Tim. So Tim, he sees me watching The Human Centipede, right, and he sees me finish it off. And uh, he was like, well, you know, they got the second one on there, too. We can we can watch the Human Centipede, too. Now, I'm sitting here thinking, I mean, if it's anything like the first one, <laughs> this ain't shit. This, this is nothing, right? So uh, me and Tim sit down, and we watch the Human Centipede, too. Now, this is what's hilarious to me first. That nigga falls asleep. <laughs> so he doesn't, he doesn't know what transpires in this movie. So he's knocked out, right? So my roommate, my actual roommate, uh, Tom, he actually comes back from football practice, right? Now, I'm like 20 minutes into the movie, he sits down, he starts watching with me. And what happens after that is just this clusterfuck of a film. Like, the thing that happened, and, and the, the, the concept of the human centipede is some crazy doctor um, wanted to attach these two women and some Asian guy, I don't know, together by connecting their mouths to their anus. Um, why? I don't know why. What happens in the end was um, the person at the tail end of the, the human centipede, this, this is really weird, actually dies because they get no fucking nutrition because they're only eating the excrement of the person in front of them. Uh, it was... It was it was, it was was nasty, but... I mean, I was able to get through it because I was like, I mean, it's just a movie, right? But the human centipede 2, on the other hand, took this shit up a notch, right? So the cons of the human centipede 2... So the cons of the human centipede 2 was... Um, First of all, it was shot in black and white. I don't really know why. I guess they wanted to be more stylistic with it. But the main character was this this poor fat guy who lived with his parents. I was like mentally challenged. And um, the the premise was the Human Centipede was a movie in that realm. So technically, what happened in Human Centipede Two takes place, I guess, in our world, like the real world, right? This guy was inspired by the movie itself, except he wants to take it up a notch. So what he does over the course of the movie is he kidnaps 20 fucking people, right? And he attempts to attach them all together. Now, what follows is he literally takes their tendons and he slices them off so they can't move. Um, he he can't stitch their um, bodies together because he's not a doctor like the original guy was. He's just some fucking crazy fat guy. So he takes like staplers and he tries to staple the people's mouths to connect them through their anus. It was... It was fucking. It was crazy. It was, it was messed up. But that's not what really even it really really even got me right. The, the the one scene that got both me and my roommate that I'll never forget is this shit right here. So this is the tail end of the movie, right? We're almost done. We he's attaching people again, you know, stapling them. They're bleeding profusely. They're screaming. They're crying. And I pause the movie, and I and I turn to my roommate and I say, I say, look, look, Tom, we we don't have to finish this. We can. We can turn this off, we can go do something else. He turns back to me and he says, yeah, but I gotta know how it ends. And I'm like, yeah, you know, I, I, I see what you mean. Let's try, let's try to power through this shit. 
Maybe we start powering through it. One of the people that he uh, got was a pregnant woman, right? And she's butt naked and she fights him back and she gets out and she gets into a car and she literally gives birth in the fucking car. She's literally in the car, just face straining, bloodied up, trying to get out of there, literally pops her child out into the, 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 um, the floor of the car, right? The guy is coming after, he's chasing her, and she's trying to get the car started. She's trying, she's fighting through the pain of pregnancy. The guy finally gets up to her, and what she does, I fuck you not, viewer, is she steps on the child's head to push on the gas pedal to drive away. And at that moment, me and my roommate screamed at the top of our lungs. We just, we were, just, ah, ah, we, we were screaming, because the gruesomeness of the scene, I never would have expected in a million years that this woman would kill her own child by stepping on its head in order to drive off. That shit gives me chills even to this day. It was, it was just, it was fucking crazy. And, and believe it or not, we, we turned the movie off after that. We couldn't finish it after that. I mean, there was only like five to ten minutes left of the film, but we were like, nah, dude, we're done. We can't take this shit anymore. And that's, that's probably one of the only movies as an adult that's like really rocked me to my core. I think it's mostly because, uh, one, seeing a woman kill her own child has never sat well with me in, in any circumstance, but the gruesomeness of crushing its head uh, in order to escape was just, ah, uh, just disgusting. It, it just turns my stomach. That was one of the, the, the worst things I'd ever seen in a movie ever so that is the movie that traumatized me as an adult uh, i still think about it from time to time i do think of it as a, a hilarious story every now and again at the fact that we two grown-ass men with full beards sitting in there screaming <laughs> at this scene the funny thing was my friend tim i think he didn't even wake up he was still sleeping um uh, but yeah that's that's the human centipede too now, i heard a third one came out but i'm probably not gonna watch it Actually, I probably will watch it just to see how that shit ends. So, pray for my eternal soul. So, uh, what Sierra wanted me to do, or what people, what she asked me to do was to um, tag someone else or maybe suggest someone else do this video. I honestly would really like that guy T to do the video, but a nigga hardly makes videos anyway. But I'm going to suggest that guy T anyway. Hopefully, he'll make a video. And if not that guy T, then I say my friend uh, N.C. Clark. N.C. Clark should make a video talking about a film that traumatized her as an adult. I think that would be very interesting. So, with that being said, man, you know, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, not one of my usual stuff, but I mean, yeah, it's kind of fun to do. And if you did, man, you know, go ahead and click the like button. Yeah, shoot, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. As always, you guys have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.